Welcome back to another Classic Car Studio build video. Started this Model A a few years back, did a lot of crazy stuff to it. Well, in that time, the guys changed his mind a little bit and then brought a grocery list of more shit to do. Uh, one of the things first is we're gonna redo the frame. Frame's got a little bit of a rat fink kink in it where the body and the frame sit a little crooked. We're gonna straighten that out. And then we're gonna shorten up the wheelbase, wheelbase back to like a factory Model 8 wheelbase. Get it a little more sporty, a little uh, short wheelbase. Always has that little more hot rod character going on with it. We're gonna upgrade the motor while it's all apart too. Going from a regular flathead motor, we're gonna throw that in the trash and we're going with a big Arden head motor. Arden head flathead is like a uh, top fuel dragster motor back in the flathead days of racing. So that's going to be really cool too. So a lot of upgrades going to be happening here. And then we're also going to do a little more metal work. So shortening up the wheelbase and redoing the frame means the, the hood that we previously made out of steel is going to have to be remade shorter. So now me and the owner talked about just doing a whole two-tone of bare aluminum on the top of painted steel on the bottom. So I'm going to remake the hood out of aluminum and then make a cowl cover out of aluminum. Now the aluminum from the interior will flow right up and over the radiator like a waterfall down in between the grill. I think it's gonna be a really cool, unique look. Something we haven't seen before, or at least you don't see it every day. You're never the first and you're never the only. So finishing up the cow, what I did was put these little mounting tabs because we don't want any exposed hardware on the cow. It's going to pop down on there, but we can't have it blow off. So these little tabs will go up the windshield pillar, and these windshield pillar covers that I had made earlier will slide down over the windshield and over that tab just like that, and that will hold this cow panel on. It will be a no exposed hardware, but it won't fly off on the highway either.
Alright, on the Model A we had a steel hood, but we also had a longer wheelbase, so which means the radiator was further from the motor and the steel hood was made long to, to cover that ground. But with the new frame we shortened the wheelbase means the radiator is now closer to the motor where it should be, so that hood no longer fit. And it's going to be all aluminum and we're all going to brush it and leave it all bare aluminum for the finish uh, appearance. But to be a little bit different than what we had before, we're going to do a speed blister in the center of it. It's going to come up kind of high, going to look kind of big, but also look a lot racy. And that's going to cover the uh, carburetors that are on the big Arden head motor underneath that hood. And it's going to be a little skinny hood. The owner didn't want a hood, but we had to do a radiator support from the cowl to the, to the radiator. So this is going to be what we call a bikini hood. It's going to have a nice sexy curb to it. All the engine's gonna be exposed as much as we can expose it, but still protect the carburetor and alternator and all the goods from the elements. This car lives in Florida. It's gonna rain every day. Right on the Model A, we're back here doing the cowl steering. The uh, car had regular, like tra uh, traditional steering on it before. We're going to go with a cowl steering now. It's like more like an IndyCar style where the steering box is actually mounted to the steering column up underneath the dash. Then the rod comes through the cowl and connects to a drag link that goes to the spindle, which all steers the wheel. But to get back to the, to the candy of it all, it's going to come through the cowl. We're going to build a nice aluminum speed blister over the, over the uh, steering knuckle there and hook it to the cowl of the body. And it'll kind of tie in with the styling aspect of the speed blister that's on the hood. And it just goes with the period correctness of the Model A hot rod. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.